Good afternoon and happy Independence Day. This is a severe weather briefing for thunderstorms expected across the upper Mississippi River Valley on Tuesday evening. Primary hazards with these storms include damaging winds, which are the most probable, although large hail is also possible, along with lightning, locally heavy rainfall, and we cannot rule out an isolated tornado. Impacts primarily from the damaging winds would be downed trees and power lines, roof damage from any hail, and localized flooding is also possible with the heavy rain. Primary timing for these storms would be from 7 p.m. Tuesday evening until the early morning hours of Wednesday at 2 a.m. Here is the severe risk from the Storm Prediction Center, and in general we are looking for a higher severe thunderstorm risk across much of central and southern Minnesota into western Wisconsin and northern Iowa, and a lower overall risk in the green areas further to the east. While confidence in thunderstorms is high, there are still questions on timing, coverage, and evolution of these storms. In general, we're expecting these storms to develop across central Minnesota Tuesday afternoon, and as we move into the evening, those thunderstorms should increase in coverage as they move to the east southeast and form a line as they move into portions of Iowa and Wisconsin. Those hazards will change as those thunderstorms push to the southeast, from damaging wind, large hail, and isolated tornadoes to the north and west of our local area, to damaging wind becoming the primary threat across the upper Mississippi River Valley, with still some of that large hail possible earlier in the evening, mainly west of the Mississippi River, locally heavy rainfall, and still that isolated tornado. As storms move further to the south and east, winds will decrease but still be in the 30 to 50 mile per hour range. By far, damaging winds are our highest and most probable hazard, along with large hail and heavy rain, with those tornadoes mainly across central Minnesota and the northwest Wisconsin, but cannot rule them out farther to the southeast. So in summary, watch out for those damaging winds, especially if you're outdoors and camping, doing any kind of late 4th of July outdoor activities. Be ready to seek a safe shelter as the thunderstorms approach. Timing again from 7 p.m. Tuesday evening until 2 a.m. Wednesday morning as storms develop first across central Minnesota and move east-southeast through the evening. Please be weather aware, and if you have questions, you can visit our website or on social media you can see us as well. Thank you for your time.